take this mucus buster. I mean, <laughs> I'm about to take this kidney liver flush. Mucus buster, detox one and th three, detox, detox. I cannot talk. Oh, I'm gonna make it. My two detoxes ones, detox fives, got my protein salad, a little extra, just in case I'm starving tonight. We in this thing, day nine, y'all. Day nine, day nine. I found my light. And of course my light ain't where I can just put my camera. Peace, y'all. It's day nine of the detox. I'm feeling so good. Yesterday, I'm gonna just try to go by. Come on now. Yesterday was a tough day. When I tell y'all, yesterday was the hardest day of the detox. It was the hardest day for me thus far. I was so irritable. I was so annoyed. I was so hungry, okay? I wanted some chips. I wanted these cupcakes, these vegan cupcakes I got in the house. I literally had to talk myself out of eating numerous times yesterday. Like, I wanted to give up. I wanted to be like, F this. I'm about to eat what I want to eat. I was in my head enabling myself, giving myself excuses, telling myself, well, shoot, you just eat something, then just pick up where you left off. Like, it was bad. And, and I was just so annoyed, irritated. I was so tired but could not go to sleep and i was off yesterday and i was just in the bed i was just trying to take a nap i was like let me just take a nap and then you know i don't have to deal with this i can just wake up a couple of hours i couldn't even go to sleep i was just so annoyed and irritated throughout the whole day but guess what i did not give up i did not quit i did not slip up i committed to the detox i took everything that i was supposed to take it for the most part, I did everything on time. And I'm just so proud of myself because something that I was telling myself when I wanted to quit, cause y'all, it was a moment where I opened up the bag of chips. Whew. I opened up the bag of chips and touched it, child. And was this close to putting it in my mouth. But I put it back, I closed the bag and I just walked out of the kitchen angry attitude all of that you know and i was telling myself throughout the day like don't quit crystal don't quit don't quit because it's gonna feel so good to look self-doubt in the mirror and say i told you so i told you i could do it you thought i wasn't gonna be able you thought that talks to that little small part of me that thought i wasn't gonna do it i told you i could do it i did it i did it and i told you i could do it and you thought i wasn't gonna do it you thought i was gonna quit you thought you was gonna break me yesterday you was in my mind influencing me to give up and eat that potato chip and just eat them dang on cupcakes but no i was disciplined i was strong and i held out and i'm just gonna be so rewarded by it i already know i already am so Yesterday was a challenging day for me, but I made it through y'all and I'm so proud of myself. And today is day nine. I woke up this morning feeling so much better, so much better. I just got to get through today and tomorrow and then I can start my new dietary lifestyle because I'm doing all of this not to go back to eating whatever the hell I want. I did all of this for a reason. And this morning I sat down and I wrote out, what is my dietary lifestyle gonna look like going forward? You know, cause I need to be prepared. And I came to the conclusion that every day I'm gonna detox from 12, I mean from 4 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12, 12 p.m. I'm gonna detox. What that means is I'm only gonna drink water, okay? Cause I'm gonna try to get a gallon in every day. So I'm gonna drink me some water and I'm going to also make me one detox juice. Depending on how I feel, I'm either gonna make um, a fruit juice or a vegetable juice. I've learned throughout this detox that fruits are to release from my body and vegetables are to stabilize. Hopefully y'all can hear me with the dumpster. 
<laughs> yeah, so I learned that. And so depending on how I feel, what I feel like my body needs, I will give it to myself that day. And about 12, 30, one o'clock is when I'm gonna break my detox. So my detox is how I'm gonna break my fast. After I detox, I'm going to uh, break the detox around 12 30 one o'clock even though i've lost some weight i think i'm like at seven eight pounds right now that i've lost since i started the detox i still want to lose more weight i still want to get more in shape i still want to get toned up so i'm gonna go back to the plan that i was doing when i lost weight earlier this year which was eating a calorie deficient diet so 1200 calories or under every day <laughs> from 12 30 to like 6 30 um those are, that's my window to get my 1200 calories in and then after that it's gonna be dark outside and i don't want to eat after dark like so really seven o'clock no eating after seven o'clock and then i'm going to commit to not eating no meat not even fish not even fish no more no more me no more me i'm done with that i'm getting back on my way of being a vegan so no meat no dairy nothing that contains dairy that that's what gives me you know i be eating stuff or i used to eat things that would you know contain milk made with milk in it you know but i'm not doing that no more i'm gonna be extra on it reading the labels the new, you know, the nutrition facts on things and just making sure it does not contain meat and it was not processed in a factory that handles dairy. And no fast food. That was the other thing I wrote down, no fast food. I used to like go to cookout, get some fries, go here, get, you know, a little side or something like that. Cause there's not too much that I can eat anyways at fast food. No, 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 none of that, none of that and I wanna cook more and eat out less. So when I do eat out, like I want it to be a restaurant where there's like a waiter. I think I said this before. That will be the type of restaurants I go to. But I'm also trying to, I, I am also committing to saving money, which is, you know, something outside of what I'm talking about in this video. So I'm, I'm not gonna be going out to eat anyway. So I'm gonna have no choice but to, cook more and just that's exciting to me because i really want to step my cooking game up i want to like try new recipes you know i want to eat a fulfilling meal like you know every day i don't want to revert to like the vegan junk food so i wrote that out today y'all and i know that this is something that's attainable it may sound strict and it may sound hard to some of you guys out there but just keep in mind that over years i have taken all the little steps to program my body to be able to function at this level and it gets easier because this is the way the body is meant to function, you know? We're not supposed to be waking up early in the morning having that big breakfast that we grew up eating. It's way too early to be putting all that food in your body. When you wake up in the morning, your body is ready to detox. That's why as soon as you wake up, you have to pee. And it's in that state where it's ready to purge, 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 purge everything from yesterday. Like I was saying, it gets easier. And it definitely took a lot of small steps to get to the point where I can create a schedule like this and commit to it. But this detox was very, very necessary. I feel rejuvenated, I feel refreshed. I'm looking forward on the low. I'm looking forward to like day 11 so I can just eat what I wanna eat. But at the same time, I also feel like whatever I eat, whatever I decide to eat, like I don't wanna go overboard. Like I don't, I worked so hard y'all to get here. Like it took so much strength and so much discipline. Like I don't wanna mess it up. And I know that I released so much from my body. I, I know I, I released a parasite. I didn't do all that for nothing. And that's why it was important for me to sit down today and really map out what my dietary lifestyle is gonna be like. And I'm using the word dietary, the you know, the words dietary lifestyle because 
I'm not on a diet, but I do eat a diet and it's my lifestyle. So moving forward from this day forward, like that's my lifestyle, that's how I eat. You can call it vegan, you can call it whatever you wanna call it, you know. I just have a standard by which I eat and it's to be intentional with everything that I put in my body. And now that I done released so much during this detox, it's got me wanting to be even more intentional with what I put in my body, you know, because now I'm aware, I'm like aware of the fact that whatever I put into my body attaches itself to my cellular um, makeup, you know, my the molecules in my body. And it has the ability to um, affect the way that my mind thinks, the way that my body operates. The way that my soul illuminates, you know? So no more putting dead food in my body. I need foods with optimal life force to go inside me to feed my life force. And that's just the way I'm thinking about it nowadays, you know, moving forward. So I feel good, y'all. I feel good and I'm ready to finish this detox. I am ready to eat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to eat on day 11, but um, I'm eating me something good and something healthy and something filling for sure. But that's it for day nine. I'm going to go ahead and drink this water. It's been tough, y'all. It's been tough, but it's also been so rewarding. It's been tough, but it's also been extremely rewarding. Like... Everything I set out to do, I've done. I got the mental reset. I, I'm having the physical, I'm experiencing the physical reset. And I have proven to myself, I have proven to that self-doubt that was inside of me that I can commit and I can discipline myself. So it's only up from here. I love y'all. Let me drink this water and I will see y'all tomorrow, day 10, the final day of the detox. Woo, it's gonna feel so good. <laughs>